Hi, my name is Rich Hansen. I'm going to show you how to do alkalinity titration today using the 9P. You always want to make sure you have all the uh, items that you need to get started. Your solution, of course, uh, the tea plunger, your reagent, and your pipette with a new tip on it. Make sure it's always a new tip so you don't contaminate anything. Uh, make sure that your 9P has the cell extender and the cap and that they're clean. Uh, before you put it in and now you're pretty much ready. We're going to start uh, with three rinses of the solution to be checked. I always like to try to get the cap too. And this is three. And then we fill it up. Okay. Make sure that your tea plunger is clean. We're going to uh, dissipate all the solution that we don't need. And to do that, you simply just put it in. Don't jab it in, but put it in. Twist it just a little bit. And then if there's any dewer here, you want to make sure you tap that out. Make sure you don't fling this out because you'll take some solution with you which you need. So we'll put that to the side. And then I like to get rid of my excess here in the bottom well. And then we're ready to get started. To begin, Hit your alkalinity button, and it says press cal. I like to uh, get uh, my pipette ready, and then we'll hit cal, because it's going to ask me to get some A1. Get some A1 reagent. Put that in your cell cup. Put your cap on, and it's going to say agitate. Now, when you agitate, you just need to do it three or four times, and hold it. It'll ask it again. Agitate. You can see I'm not shaking it very much, just a little. And then holding. So, now it says press cal. It's already got its number, so come over here and make sure you get your cap off first before you hit cal. Pull this off slowly. Make sure that there isn't a solution attached to the cap. Hit your cal button, and it's going to ask again for A1, region A1. So, let's put that into our cell cup cap back on and start agitating. Hold, agitate, hold, agitate, press cow. Okay, and again, before you hit cow, come over here, make sure that I like to get this, get any solution that's uh, adhered to the top. Pull this back slowly. Then hit cal. Add your A1. In we go. Put the cap back on. And begin to agitate. See this number T3, that's the third titration that I've done. I'll tell you how many times you've titrated. See the T3 down here? Agitate. There it is. All right, take your cap off. Hit cal. Add A1. begin to agitate. We're on T4 now as you can tell. Hold. Alright. Take that cap off first. Hit cal. Some more A1. There we go. Agitate, hold, agitate. Again, I want to make it clear, you do not have to shake this very hard, just a little bit. Actually, if you shake it too hard, you'll get bubbles in your cell cup, and then you'll get bad readings. So all you need to do is just agitate a little bit like that. That's it. That's all you need. Okay. Open that up. Get cal, and there's our number. As you can see, we start out with 100 ppm, and this is what we got after titrating. Very good number. 
If you're doing an LSI reading later, you'll need to store your alkalinity reading. To do that, you'll just hit the MS key right here.